Is this too much blue? I feel like this is a lot of blue. Hi guys, I'm wearing a hat today because uh, the top of my hair looked weird and I didn't want to show that. Anyway, let's get right into this video. So, hi guys, so welcome to my channel. My name is Cecilia. If you didn't know, I turned 18 the other day, on June 20th to be exact. I don't feel like an adult. I don't feel like I look like an adult, but I guess I am one. So, so I just want to show you guys what I got for my 18th birthday, not to like show off or brag, but to give you ideas about maybe what to ask for for your birthday, because I know I'm always stumped, like I never know what to ask for. Um, and also maybe some gift ideas to a friend or to your sibling because I have gifts from my friends here that are really awesome that would be great ideas for gift giving as well as gift receiving. So stay tuned to find out. So I'm gonna start off with like the main thing I asked for and that is an Apple Watch. So this is from my parents. So this is a series three 38 millimeter and those ones are actually, they're not as expensive as you'd think. Like the new ones are like hundreds of dollars more um, on Amazon, this is like 180 So like that would be a good gift to ask for for Christmas or like your birthday as like the main thing you get. Like it's like a big thing that you can get a lot of use out of and it's like exciting and fun and new but like still it's not like a huge thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like I don't want to seem like I'm saying like $180 is nothing because that's still a lot of money but this is like a good thing to ask for <laughs> for your birthday because it's not like outlandishly expensive. So the main reason I asked for this was because I really wanted a GPS watch for a cross country, but I am like, I love running, but I'm not like that into it that I want like a really expensive GPS watch. So I was like, might as well get one that has a GPS and also does other things. Yeah, I chose an Apple watch and I really like it. Still trying to figure out how to use it. You can pin your phone, which is great because I lose my phone like five times a day. So I can just, oh, there it is. So that's very helpful. Moving on. <laughs> okay, this next gift, you guys might make fun of me a little bit, but this is one of my favorite things I got. I like it more than the Apple Watch, even though the Apple Watch is great, but this, I just love it. <laughs> so this is a cat backpack. So this bad boy was like 40 bucks. I know, cause I always find all the gifts I want and then just send them to my parents because I don't know. That's just how things work these days. So this is just such a cool gift because it's like an experience. It's not just like a thing. You can take your cat on a walk and bond with them and get them to love you. I was looking at multiple of the same type of thing on Amazon, but this one I decided was the best because it has some really cool features that a lot of the other cat backpacks did not have. Um, for example, this one is like a full plastic front. So they can see everything. I saw some where they just had like a little plastic part, but I decided I want her, I wanted my cat Delilah to be able to see the whole world because she deserves it. The next really cool thing about this one, which I really liked, um, was this little pouch. You can open it up, and if they're feeling anxious, you can pet them. And the best part about this one that just sealed the deal was that it has a tent. So when you're taking your cat on a walk, you can just stop and let her or him sniff around and look around and get some more air in there. Look how cool that is. I've already taken my cat Delilah on two walks in this. She loves it. She literally like knew it was hers immediately when we opened it. She like sat in it. She's taking a nap in here. She, she loves this thing. She has a great time on our walks. And she loves this part because whenever we decide to like sit down and like let her like sniff around in this area. She is so happy and it's adorable, okay? It's so great, I highly recommend this. I'll leave the link to this one in the description because um, it wasn't like one of the most popular ones, but it's like the best one, I swear. Like I'm so happy I got this one instead of like the ones that like looked cooler, I guess. So the next thing I got from my parents is a new journal. I journal a lot. I'm running out of space in my current journal, so I asked for a new one. And I got this one, it's paperback and has flowers on it. It's really cute, um, made in the USA, wow. I don't know what the brand is. There's like no brand on here, so I don't know what it is, but it's really cute. <laughs> the next thing I got, which is literally the best homemade gift I've ever received, is this Spotify bucket hat. 
and guess what I, when I first opened this I was like wow Spotify has merch what and my friend Nondis who was in my last thrifting video she's so cool love her she was like no sweetie I made this from scratch and I was like what you made this and she's like yes I'm like no way she's like yes and I was like what so she found a pattern online and made the whole bucket hat and then she stitched the barcode on by hand and you can literally scan this and it'll start playing the song and I will demonstrate <laughs> An amazing gift am I right she thought of this on her own she didn't get this on Pinterest she didn't get this on Google she came up with this in her brain how cool is that and it works you can literally scan the hat and it plays the lion sleeps tonight so she chose the lion sleeps tonight because we both do cross-country and on the bus rides to and from the meets and during the meets we usually play music and we love the lion sleeps tonight we love it and some people last year not gonna call you out on my video but they didn't appreciate it. And we just were like, how do you not appreciate The Lion Sleeps Tonight? It's a bop. That just, that song makes me so happy. So yeah, that's the story why it's The Lion Sleeps Tonight. What a great gift. Moving along. So this next gift is from my brother Ezra. It is a rainbow maker with these crystal balls that you hang up in a window and then they reflect the light into your room and create rainbows. So, so cool and such a great gift. This was like $10 on Amazon around there. So a really cool gift that is just so, so unique, but it's not like crazy expensive. Um, I still need to like get a nail up there or something to like hang this up with, but can't wait to have it up in my room. The next thing I got is from my grandma Dolly. So thank you grandma Dolly if you're watching this. And this is another great gift to ask for or get for a friend. And that is a jade roller. These are super popular right now. And for good reason, they're really relaxing and nice to like to give yourself a little face massage and get the blood circulating in your face in the mornings. Super nice and cooling as well. And they're not too expensive, so super great gift to buy or to ask for. And I love it and I've used it every day. So thank you, Grandma, for this. So these next gifts are from my grandma and grandpa, um, Susie and Jim, um, on my mom's side. So first thing they got me are these fairy lights which I just hung up around here. Um, I've always had this strand right here, but I wanted some more for right there, and they look really pretty in the background. So thank you, Grandma and Grandpa, for that. Um, the next thing I got is a really cool um, product that I've been wanting, and that is Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm by Pharmacy. And I have been looking for a makeup remover that doesn't like make my face really red for a really long time. Never found it, like micellar water is good, but I really have to scrub to get off waterproof mascara. But this stuff is so, so amazing. It smells like lime. It's this like creamy consistency, kind of like a balm. It is a balm, so it's not exactly creamy, but it's like very smooth. You take some like a little bit of it and rub it on your face to get off all your makeup. It works like a dream. It gets off my waterproof mascara and like Second, so cool. Such a cool gift to ask for. And next they got me this really cool bar of soap with a natural sponge coming out of it. So this is a super cool gift idea. Smells really good. So next is from my friend Sierra. And she got me this super cute spa kit. This is such a cool gift to give somebody. And then she also got me this exfoliating glove. So this is just such a cool gift and really comes in handy. And a very cute gift idea. So thank you Sierra for this. So the next gift is from my friend Haley. She got me a couple things. First, this really adorable headband, which is totally my style. And then she got me a bath bomb. She got me these two nail polishes, which are like these really pretty summery colors. And a bag of Skittles, so thank you, girly, love it. I'm gonna have some of these right now, actually. Mm. So good. So next, I'm going to go through the gift cards I got. I got Chick-fil-A. I believe this is from Sierra. I love Chick-fil-A, so... Next, I got Starbucks from my friend Emma, so thank you, girl. Love it. And then I got Stoked Coffee from my friend Sage, so I cannot wait to use these. You guys know me so well. Love all this stuff, so thank you so much. Um, the next thing I got is something that's not tangible yet, 
but it's a camping trip to Hawking Hills with my friends Seneca and Ani. So a camping trip is such a great idea for a birthday present because it's an experience that you can have you know, in your memories for years and years. So I think that's a really cool idea. Um, we're going camping at Hawking Hills probably in a couple weeks. I'm super excited. Seneca is like bringing the tent and all that. We're, me and Ani are bringing food. And that is just gonna be a great birthday present. So thank you guys for that. I can't wait. And hopefully I vlog that. And next for my friend Ani, she gave me these super, super cool pictures that she drew. I, had, I already have one hanging up on my wall. So I'm gonna have to move the camera to show you that, but it's so cool. So this is a piece of art she made of us on homecoming my sophomore year, her junior year. It's so cute. It's based off of like a picture that we actually have together and it looks amazing. And I just absolutely love that and that's just such a cute idea. And then she also made me a really sweet card and did another one on <laughs> another picture on this side. And this is a picture of us from 2012, so quite a long time ago. Um, and she'd probably be embarrassed if I show you guys this one because she thinks it's scary, but... I think it's pretty cool. Art is really something that you can just keep and cherish forever. And I love that she incorporated memories from our friendship into my birthday. So thank you. It's such a cool idea. My last couple birthday gifts are, again, not items. But last night, my uncle Andy and Aunt Heidi ordered me food from my favorite restaurant in my town, even though they live like a couple hours away. So I got my favorite meal at home. And they got me some flan as a surprise because it's a Mexican restaurant, so. So good, such a cool gift idea to like get someone dinner, like even though you're like really far away. Super cool and I really appreciated that and it was delicious. Um, the next couple things I wanted to mention are things you might not think of as gifts, but I still wanna like thank my parents for this because, oh my God, wait, I forgot something because I've been using it and I put it away. So this is one of the most practical gifts I've ever asked for and that is an external hard drive. This bad boy is amazing. This is by the brand Seagate, and I've already been using it. I've already like downloaded like all my photos from my phone and laptop and all my YouTube videos onto this bad boy. This has one terabyte. Highly recommend getting one of these if you need a easy place to store photos. So the last couple things are really not tangible items right now, but I wanted to still share them because my family really went out of their way to make my 18th birthday so special, even though I couldn't have like a big party because of Corona or couldn't really. You know, what's I trying to say? I don't know, I think it's just that. They wanted to make it special because of Corona and it's just a weird time. So they did such a good job with it. Um, for my birthday, I had a small birthday party with some friends. We kept it to like uh, under 10 people and socially distanced. So it was all good. It was a super fun party and we got um, Kijoba catering, which is cost money. So that is, I consider that a present. So thank you mom and dad for that. The food was amazing and we had leftovers for like three days <laughs> and then also my custard cakes that we had for dessert which were so good so thank you mom and dad for that and also they had this lovely sign set up in the backyard for me um, I'll insert pictures of it here because it's not there anymore we rented it for two days but it said happy 18th Celia and it had all my all these like cute signs that kind of have to do with things I like so that was so cool and they surprised me <laughs> I was driving home from work the day before my birthday and I saw these people setting up signs in my yard. I was like, wait, is that for me? And I was like, oh my god, I'm not supposed to see this yet. They thought I was going to a friend's house. Like, I'm ruining the surprise. So I started driving away. And then my brother saw me, like, drive away. He let me call me. He was like, Celia, where are you going? And then I was like, I have no idea. Was I supposed to see that? Like, I thought I ruined the surprise. And he was like, no, it's literally for you. Like, we, like, we expected you to see it right now. So I was like... Okay, I'll come back home. He's like, yeah, you probably should. So I came back home and there was these signs in the yard for me. So that was really cool. <laughs> so thank you, mom and dad, for that. <clears throat> I also want to thank my aunt and uncle and cousins and grandma who sent me money for my birthday, which is such a great present as well because, you know me, always spending money online, you know. I already used some of that money to buy myself Raycons, like little wireless earbuds, because I've been really wanting those for months. So I was like, you know birthday money gotta go to a birthday present money's always a great thing to give someone for their birthday as well um thank you to all you guys who did that for me oh yeah and last but not least there's literally so much everyone was so sweet and did such an amazing job for my birthday so i just like keeps like there's so much my boyfriend john made me a homemade lemon cake for my birthday which is my favorite type of cake and it was amazing and it was so great so thank you to him baked goods Mwah. oh my god and also, with this hat, Nandis got me my favorite cookies from our local farmer's market area thing. So thank you to her for that. 
So I think that is everything. I've said that like three times now and then I keep remembering other things that people have done for me and I'm just like, wow. Psych, there's one more thing that came in the mail and that's a Hobby Lobby gift card from my boyfriend's parents. So thank you guys so much. I cannot wait to use it. My birthday really was so amazing. This is probably the best birthday I've ever had. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you to everyone who made it so special. My mom and dad, my friends who came over, people who wished me happy birthday on social media. It was so nice. Um, really made my day so special and I really appreciate everything everyone did for me for my birthday. Thank you so much. And I hope this video gave you guys some ideas of things to ask for for your birthday maybe some gift ideas to give to your friends. So I'll see you guys next time, and don't forget I post every Thursday and Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'll see you all then. Bye! Okay, wait. <laughs> I literally just said bye, but there's another thing that I want to show. And that's all the cards I got for my birthday. I set them all up right here. They look so cute. Thank you to everyone who got me a card. Literally so adorable. I just needed to mention that because cards are really such a sweet gift and so thoughtful and just really makes you feel cared for on your birthday. So thank you to all my friends and family who also got me cards, super sweet, and yeah, love you all.